Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, probably the question I get the most. Um, how many ASINs you should have at a time when selling on Amazon. Um, I'm going to show you uh, direct correlation between how many ASINs you got in stock and sales. I'm going to show you my own examples. So before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to get into this. So first, I'm going to show you my sales for the last 30 days. You can see here 4-2-2022 uh, through 5-2-2022. So you can see here at the beginning of the month, I had a ton of stuff in stock. I don't remember the amount of ASINs. It was probably close to about 400. And uh, you can see I was doing $1,500, you know, almost 16 did $1,900, and you can see it started to drop. See, I got sick, and I wasn't sourcing, and I don't think I shipped out for about 10 days. I'll show you in a second exact what that was. But you can see I, I wasn't sourcing, and I was in bed for, it was a week. So you can see I started dropping. I got down to 900 here, then back down to 821, kind of 900, 700, and then I got back up to, it looks like, 910. But, um, you know, whenever I was sourcing and I got my ASINs, I think dropped to about 280. And right now, as we're speaking, let me pull up the app. Excuse me, I should have already had it open. Uh, if you go to inventory, I have currently 384 offers. So I currently have 100 more ASINs in stock because I started sourcing again and I was sending out like twice a week. Did online arbitrage, uh, retail arbitrage, got in some wholesale, some brand new wholesale stuff I didn't have before. And you can see my sales started creeping up, got back up to 1200 then, uh, you know, had a couple bad days. It got down to 900 something. I probably sold out of a lot of stuff. And then you can see my sales started going back up. It went from 947 to almost 1600 to 1900 in sales yesterday. And right now we're at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm at $711. So you can see that my sales have have gone up. You know, I'll probably end up doing $1,400, $1,500 today. Kind of guessing. My sales usually stop in about 7 hours. Like once 9 o'clock hits, it's pretty much done. But you can see I still did $37,000 in sales over the last 30 days. So now we can go to my uh, my shipping so you can see here to correlate on the first I sent out seven ASINs, like 1300 items or 1100 items, excuse me. And there's still, hopefully we'll find that last 30 stuff. And this was a wholesale purchase, another wholesale purchase. Somehow they got extra. And then I sent in, you can see it went from the first. I didn't ship again for eight days, shipped again for five, like five days later, which was 61 ASINs. And then 49 ASINs here. And these are getting received on the, the 21st, 23rd, and 25th. You know, we have, what, 113 ASINs received in these four days. And that's right when my sales jumped up, you know, adding 110 ASINs. And some of these were replants. But even if, like, 50, 60 of these were new inventory, you know, that's more ASINs to sell. And then here, even seven days later, got another 36 in on the 30th, got 44 more in, you know, 13 in on the 29th. So you can see I was sending in quite a bit of stuff. You know, I think this was all wholesale and replant stuff I ordered through online arbitrage. But you can see there was a direct correlation. The more ASINs I had in, the higher my sales were going. Because all that stuff started getting received right in these days here. And it takes, you know, say a week or so for it to get to its final destination because Amazon redistributes everything through their, uh, all the warehouses. So once I started getting to the end warehouse, that's when my sales started going up. And you can see I'm doing way better than uh, I was the year before. And, you know, I was sick these days. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I do anticipate this month to be, Really good. I got a shipment out there right now, about a thousand dollars profit. So wait for UPS to come in. But um, you know, I really wanted to answer this question and show you guys 
I direct uh, proof as to why I say there is a direct correlation between the amount of ASINs you have in stock to an increase in sales. You know, and you know, also you always want to be sending stuff in, even if you got like 40, 50 items, send them into Amazon because you know, you're not selling it unless you have it listed in, in the Amazon warehouse. So make sure you're sending out quite a bit of shipments. You know, I'm planning on sourcing again, doing a retail arbitrage either tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. And I'm um, going to hit up the east side of town because I haven't been over there in about two weeks, I think. Yeah, I think it's been about two weeks since I went to the east side of town. So I'm going to go through the five or six stores over there. And hopefully I can find some good stuff to send out it's either Wednesday or Thursday. Because i got a bunch of stuff coming in uh, retail arbitrage, or I mean online arbitrage as well. I spent like a thousand bucks at Chewy's yesterday because they, they messed up one of my auto shipments. They gave me a 10% discount. So I was able to buy a bunch of stuff from, from Chewy.com with that extra 10% discount. Opened up some stuff to be uh, more um, profitable for me when they weren't without the discount. You know, so got a lot of different things moving on my end as far as getting product here to ship out. So that's what I got for you guys today. Make sure you're out there sourcing. Make sure you're sending out as much stuff as you can. Try to go wide with your inventory because it will help you have more sales uh, every day. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.